Hi guys, Matt from 123MyOT here. In this video, we will show you everything you need to know about the HP ProBook 640 G8. The ProBook range is the entry level for HP's business laptops. Above the ProBook, you will have the EliteBook and the ZBook range. This is a 14 inch business laptop and it comes with the Intel Core i5 11th gen processor, which has an integrated Iris Xe graphics along with 16 gigabyte of RAM and 512 gigabyte of NVMe storage. Pricing for the G8 starts around 1339 USD for the Intel i5 CPU and goes all the way up to 1709 USD for the i7 CPU. On the HP website, you can customize and buy. If you do this, then I recommend upgrading to an i7 CPU and changing the screen to a screen with better brightness. The default screen comes with only 250 nits of brightness. I would recommend a screen with maybe 400 nits of brightness, just because the default one feels a bit dull to me. In the box you will have warranty and setup documentation, along with a 45 watt USB-C power adapter. The laptop uses around 24 to 27 watts of power, and you can expect to get around 12 hours of battery life. Charging the battery will take just under one and a half hours. The G8 comes with a 14 inch FHD LED anti-glare display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and 250 nits of brightness. As I mentioned earlier, I felt like the display was a bit dim and even when I turned the brightness all the way up, so I would suggest upgrading to maybe the 400 nits of brightness if you can. Out of the box though, I was able to get Fortnite to run okay, giving up about 35 to 50 frames per second. This would be mostly due to the Intel quad-core i5 11th gen CPU and the 16GB of RAM, as the Intel Iris Xe GPU is not the best for gaming. The G8 also does have a fingerprint scanner, which allows you to unlock windows with the touch of a button, but you will need to add it in the customize and buy section I mentioned earlier. Along the top you will find an integrated 720p webcam with dual microphone and an indicator light. One of the cool things about the G8 design is you can close the camera off with a sliding button. On the right side you have a charging port, a USB-C port, two USB-A ports, one HDMI 1.4 port, audio jack and a SIM card slot. The SIM card slot is pretty cool but you will need to add this option when you buy the laptop. You also have an indicator light to show you when the laptop is being charged and the USB-C port doubles as a display port. On the left you have a security lock one RJ45 Ethernet, one USB 3 port, and an SC card reader. Annoyingly, there is no SD card reader. The 640G8 comes with standard dual stereo speakers, and they are designed to point upwards towards your ears. The speakers sound pretty good, but are missing a little bass. Let's take a listen. The trackpad is nice and wide, but I do find myself right clicking a lot because the, to left click you need to press on the left side of the trackpad. For me it feels like the trackpad sits too far to the left. Having said that, it does feel like this issue has been improved somewhat since last year's G7 model. The keyboard is a delight to type on and does not bend when pressing the keys. However the base model does not come with backlit keys, so make sure you add that feature when you buy. The overall build feels like good quality and there is little to no flex on the laptop. Also the silver plastic doesn't leave fingerprints which is great. The display hinge folds all the way back 175 degrees, however other laptops go all the way to 180 degrees so 175 feels a bit awkward. You can also upgrade the 640GA by removing the screws from the bottom cover. 
The system supports 64GB of RAM, so you can upgrade that along with the 1TB NVMe SSD if you want to. And the Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi 6. Here's the Geekbench CPU and GPU scores. And when comparing the scores with the EliteBook 840G7 from last year, the 640G8 is much faster. However, I'm surprised it didn't give better performance when playing games in Fortnite, so maybe there's still some fine tuning to do there. If you are looking for a gaming laptop, then you are better off looking for a laptop with a GeForce MX or the Radon RX GPU configured. While this laptop is small and easy to carry, the performance in games is what stops it from being a really great all-round laptop. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to transfer WhatsApp from iPhone to Samsung. And do me a favour, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon.